if they're setting up for some type of like, you know, all-star weekend, so it looks like they're gonna do something here at the crypto. Robert Covington's come in and he has blended in perfectly in your coffee as well. Those are four re-signings of just four really good people. And I'm sure you've gotten to know how important is that for you to bring in good people, and especially the re-signing on for, for this company. Well, first of all, I get way too much credit. I don't really. We're out here in Los Angeles and I just signed up for the Chalk Talk as I told you guys, sign up for everything you guys can because you guys never know what experience you can have. So we just signed up for the Jerry West Chalk Talk. I know my dad loves Jerry West. I love the Clippers. Come out here and see what it's all about. If it looks different, I'm filming on my dad's phone because I don't know why my phone's messing up, but I also never was in this parking lot. <laughs> kind of a weird thing this, to be excited about. This but. is the VIP parking lot. That's why we've never oh, been in here. Do you guys remember? I think it was last month the last vlog we we're standing outside trying to say hi to the players yeah it was right there wait okay it's just nothing but heaven over there yeah it's <laughs> overexposed but yeah that's where we're at it was pretty cool jerry west was very motivational at the beginning and then got kind of hilarious <laughs> with some of the he's a free speaker for sure very very much a free speaker and we got to sit in like seats that i had never like when do you get to go sit in seats at the crypto <laughs> like when do you get to just do that yeah so this is our Wednesday in Los Angeles. That's really cool. It's own personal little cooler pack right here. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, I've never seen something like that. Hey, yo. Me and my dad just got back from working out. We did 45 minutes on the treadmill. Since we're barely starting out, we're gonna start on the treadmills and then slowly work our way up. It's my first time at a gym. Actually, obviously in high school, I did gym work, but not like gym gym. It's very daunting at first, but then I'm just like, whatever. It's much easier when you go with somebody, obviously. It's 8 a.m. now and working out definitely works up an appetite. So I'm gonna make, it's like a version of those oatmeal jars, if you guys have seen them, without having to put them overnight because honestly that takes a lot of time and honestly I like this better because the oatmeal is not as mushy. Aww. Well, since I dropped the strawberries, I might not be eating strawberries. Yeah, so I just use the old-fashioned oats. Um, I don't like the minute oats and I think I read somewhere where the minute oats aren't actually that good. Third of a cup of that. Then to cook it, I use the almond milk on top and I kind of just like cover the oats. Like this, I just kind of slightly cover it. I don't feel so bad because these strawberries are already going bad. So I did just drop all these strawberries on the floor. I don't know if you guys watch Master Chef, but Alejandro is one of the contestants and he dropped like a piece of steak on the floor. He picked it up, didn't, I don't think he like washed it or anything. He just like threw it back on the grill. So now we say like, oh, can I pull an Alejandro? <laughs> but I'm just gonna rinse these. It's my mouth. And then I'm gonna throw the rest away because I don't wanna do that to anybody else. Okay, my oatmeal's done. I slightly overcooked it, so make sure you don't put it any longer than like two minutes. I will use yogurt. Honestly, it's like a perfect. It's simply a perfect. And then I use chia seeds. A long time ago, I read the benefits of them. Don't really remember them now. This is the finished product. So the oatmeal's underneath, and then you got the granola, blueberries, strawberries, yogurt, and all of these guys are going to Strange, AKA our rabbit. It's full. I offered him some oatmeal, but he didn't know it was gonna be like a parfait style. Man, that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
don't know how healthy it is. We have set up this area outside. It has like a couch and like a table right here. So on Fridays, my dad works from home too. And I work from home pretty much every day. I have the option, to go, well, I have the option to go to the office every day if I wanted. But Thursdays is like when they try to encourage people to come in. But it feels really nice and cool out here. It's very quiet. So I'm just gonna log in, eat my breakfast, and I'll catch back up with you guys lunchtime because I need to focus. So it's much later now. I'm off of work. I jumped in the shower because I got really hot out there. It's like super hot today. I'm sweating again even after I took a shower. But we're actually headed to the Dodger game at the Angels Stadium. So it's Dodgers against Angels. I've been looking forward to a Dodger Angels game for a very, very long time because I've been wanting to go to the Angels Stadium. And so I've just been waiting for the Dodgers to play there. Tomorrow we're celebrating my, my brother's birthday party. So we won't be able to go to tomorrow. So we're headed out now. Just quickly wanted to show you my outfit of the day. This flannel, bodysuit, shorts, and like these leathery black vans that my sister got me. And this guy, he is so hot and he's turning into a bad dog. Do you want to say what happened? Okay, then I'll say it. He started chewing on shoes this week. Yeah. Should I show them the one that you destroyed? Fine, I won't embarrass you. I'm gonna film a whole video for the Angel Stadium because it's my first time there, but you can watch that full video later. Um, we're gonna be filming a lot this weekend because it is my birth brother's birthday weekend. We're going to the beach tomorrow. Who knows what we're doing Sunday. See you at the Angel Stadium. So we just got out of the Dodger Steve. Ah! Angel Stadium for the Dodgers Angels game. There was more Dodger fans than there was Angel fans at the stadium. Dodgers won by like a landslide. Kershaw almost pitched a no hitter game. Damn, one hit, one, one hit. One hit. It is humid out here, guys. I can only imagine what my hair is gonna look like by the end of the night. And then tomorrow we're going to the beach, but we have to find our parking. <laughs> we gotta find the car. It's wherever it's at. We're so excited to run in that we forgot where to, to know oh where we parked. Yeah, I have no idea where we parked. Guys, I don't even know what time it is, and we have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow for the beach. We found our car. <laughs> Lovely and noisy. We found it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. The beach day. It's about 5.40 a.m. right now. So I'm going to do the quickest unboxing just for this package real quick because we have to go. And I already know what's in here and I need it. So we got the Furbo Dog Cam 360. My puppy is obviously a puppy. We need to get this set up because Huntington Beach isn't really a dog friendly beach. Like they have a section that they're dog friendly. Ooh, look at that. Pretty nice. I didn't get any treats. I was just going back and forth, contemplating should I risk it, but we're so far from home. It says it's a simple setup. Plug it in. Alrighty, so let me just install this app real quick. Oh, so downloaded. Says wait for it to blink yellow. It is currently blinking yellow. Yes. Okay, so it's trying to find the furbo right now. Alrighty, pretty creepy. But you can see I don't have any treats, like I said, so I can't even toss a treat. But it makes a cute noise. <laughs> but I don't have any treats. Let's hook this up in the living room. That was a pretty quick setup. That's pretty creepy too. So we're on the road now. It's pretty gloomy outside, but my sister said that around 11 or 12, it's supposed to clear up. We're trying to get there as early as possible to try to get first dibs at the volleyball court and the fire pits. But once we get there, I'll talk to you guys more. So this is our setup. We got a bonfire, our chairs from Walmart, very gloomy here. My very outdated sandals that need to buy new ones, but that's why I brought them. So if I lose them, I lose them. So we're just gonna set up the tent. Wow, my hair. And this is only gonna get worse throughout the day, guys. Curly hair in this weather. So I brought a multitude of bucket hats and I brought gel. So I need to spruce it up, put a bunch of gel in my hair because 
If you guys know of any good moisture control, that'd be great. Why am I still carrying this? Remember at Walmart when we got three chairs for my brother and his friend? Well, these are the chairs. They're <laughs> so tiny. These are our chairs and these are their chairs. For size reference. Oh my gosh. We should have opened them before we bought them. For whatever reason, he decides it's a good idea to run to the beach. Oh wow, look at those waves. Look at how tall they are. Oh, can you see? They're huge. It's sideways too right now, look at it. This feels weird, it's sideways, the water. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've experienced. Yeah, look, it's like a, like. A circle, yeah. Whoa, yeah, look at the center, how it's pulling in. Trippy. Yeah. Whoa. That's awesome. This is so strange. Look at this water, guys. It's not perfectly even. It's like a half moon. Wow. So pretty, guys. Oh, yeah. So we have the ice for our little chairs. Let's carry this. Good. Good. Oh God. <laughs> little did we know that one band is very, very important. But we're gonna fill up these little personal ice chests that we got at Walmart. I'm so stoked for this idea. You have your little coolers right there. Ah! Gonna wanna break it up a little bit. And then four. Ooh, you guys see that? Wow. Got your little bottle opener in there. Throw really? that in there. And then wow. zip it up. And that is how you fill these ice chest chairs. So it's 11 o'clock now. The beach is completely filled. Remember how it looked this morning at like, what, 8 o'clock? 7? Completely filled. <laughs> and now you can not walk anywhere without stepping on somebody's foot. This morning when we were out here and I was showing you guys the height, we realized that we were pretty much like at this furthest wave. That's how far back the water was. Crazy. But that's why there was like a bunch of rocks and like special seashells. Bigger waves. Bigger waves. Yeah, everything Crazy. Is low tide. But now it's further up out here. So it's two o'clock now and we finished playing volleyball. We're gonna start making sandwiches, but we were stalking my dogs and then the other two. So we figured out that all they do is sleep, waiting for us to come home, which is kind of sad, but that's all they do. So we got the sandwich making station over here, being on your telephone, being antisocial over there. We got the fire pit for later over there, the volleyball court section. We had to make like these hills with sand because those kept on coming out. This is not made for the beach. And the beach has officially filled up completely. Crazy how many people. I think this is supposed to be like the hottest day of the week, so we should have expected it. We're gonna wait for our sandwiches to be done because I'm starving Marvin after all that volleyball skills I have. This is my dad's world famous sandwich. Here's the grubbity grub grub sandwich. Potato salad, pasta salad, potato salad. Wow, remember that one band-aid? Yeah. You see this? It wasn't that bad. They made it seem like it was a lot bad and then I was just sitting there and everything got black. Sitting there, you're Everything got black. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that I, sounds terrible. I couldn't see you that for a second. Bad. I was like, <laughs> I only knocked her out for a second. Oh my god. Here's the ocean at 8 o'clock at night. These kids are insane. We play volleyball and now we just ordered pizza and then we're gonna pick up at the pier. You guys seen that injury? 
but it wasn't that bad. I just couldn't see out of one eye for a couple seconds, but now I'm fine. I'm just not going to play volleyball for the rest of the day or any other activities. But my friend Jared and Kat joined us too, so we're going to have a bonfire soon. But this is the update on the water cooler from this morning. It's still really cold in here, so if you wanted to keep something cold in here, it'd be pretty cool. Like literally cool, but it's all water now. And we have the bonfire going. All of this smoke is just burning our eyeballs. <laughs> oh god, my hair is a disaster. Nobody told me my hair was like devil ears. Anyways, <laughs> it's s'more time. Doesn't it look like <laughs> devil horns? Thanks, Kat. This is the girl that's roasting me and the roasting the marshmallows. <laughs> It's wow. beautiful. In the marshmallow, so it melts. It's the only way to make a Wow, I'm mind blown right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it this way because I like mine charred. Yeah. See? You don't oh like yours God, charred? Blow it out. Blow it. Really? She's like lighting the Olympic Games. That's like so great. This is the best. No. See, that's why I couldn't put the chocolate in there. So then you put it on the graham cracker and the chocolate. Have you guys ever seen Sandlot? I can't remember the line. Yeah. Kind of common knowledge. Oh, really? According to Sandlot, it's not common knowledge. And that's a s'more. That's a s'more. One, two, three, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Junior James. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy happy birthday. It's the next day. We slept in till like one o'clock because. But you want to show them what you got for your birthday. Yeah. Okay. Meta Quest 2. Brought to you by James. Let's see uh, how many uh, TVs get broken and windows. I'm gonna try the Oc oh, Okay, don't show him. But I'm gonna try his Oculus. I hope you guys can hear me because he has a big fan in here. We're gonna try the Oculus. See how it goes. Okay. That's weird that I can. Oh my god, this is weird. Okay. Uh, this is your right one, right here. <laughs> Oh, what the? You this feel, is so weird. You feel the? You feel the two buttons? You feel the triggers, right? Yeah. Okay, so the one on the bottom with your middle fingers, that's how you grab stuff. My body's not in the right proportion, though. What your the body heck? is just not there. Well, I think it's because it's used to my height. Oh, okay. So move with the left joystick. Oh wait, there's there's things over here. Yeah. Oh my okay, god. So fill with so, fill with your hands and your left hand. Okay. Fill with your left hand. Move your thumb. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then if you reach out, if you're holding a gun with your right hand, you can pull, you can grab. Oh, I got it. Drop the gun in your left hand. Try. Oh god. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> okay. Maybe we should put the strap on. <laughs> That was, that was an experience. <laughs> Welcome to the metaverse. Oh, don't say that? Okay, I guess it's not cool. But that was really trippy. Oh, I'm all sweaty now though. I want to surf on it. I think that'd be really fun. Super crazy. It like messes with your mind. I can't imagine spending more than like a couple hours in that though. I was in the metaverse and you weren't there. Alrighty, so it's been a couple days. He has a broken rib now. He has a broken rib from playing volleyball and My hair's a mess. I still have that little mark, but the swelling went down and yesterday I didn't vlog at all because I was so tired from the weekend. <laughs> so tired, but I just pretty much worked, slept and worked. But now we're here, we're gonna watch where the crawdads sing. So let's see how it is. I am the worst YouTuber ever. Um, the last time I talked to you guys, I was going to see where the crawdads sing. Didn't like it. So sad I didn't like it because I was actually very excited for it. And there was this one guy in the theaters. He walked up, stared at the screen, threw it the dirtiest look, and walked out. So 
Don't watch it. What are you laughing about over there? You pictured him again? The guy? Walking out of the theater? <laughs> no, we just hear comments. Oh. It's terrible. It was bad. Don't watch it. <laughs> Would you watch it again? No. Would you tell anybody to watch it? Um, no. Okay, it wasn't terrible. It had us... I feel like it had us captivated, right? You were interested to see what happened? Oh, yeah, we wanted to see. Wanted to see what happened, but then once the ending hit, it was like, really, this is it? Watch it, don't watch it. I don't know, if you have AMC stub pass like us, then go watch it. That's true, apparently. Anyways, it is now Thursday now, so I think this is officially a week of me doing things. Honestly, during the week, I haven't really done much because I've been so exhausted from this past weekend. I just got done with work. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the rest of the stuff from like Saturday that I was gonna show you guys, but then I ran out of time. Let's do that real quick. So you guys already seen me unbox the Furbo. Definitely came in handy. It was kind of sad. They just sat there and did nothing all day and just waited for us to get home. This Furbo is pretty awesome and the quality is amazing. So this is the 360 version. So I guess the original just stands still, but this one actually moves with the dog. So there's that. Um, so it's from Amazon. These are all from Amazon. I got them on the Amazon Prime Day. Okay, so I got a dog de-shedding kit for the second package. Honestly, don't really remember what I ordered. Still don't remember what I ordered. No way. This is supposed to be his cooling mat. I bought my dog a cooling mat. This You're telling me this is supposed to be it? So my little puppy, he likes to sleep in the bathroom. And that's just disgusting. So I bought him a cooling mat to see if he would like that instead. This is what that is? How is this supposed to be a cooling mat? This looks like just a blanket. Filthy. And look how tiny it is. Yeah, I think you need a bigger one. Come here, Filthy. What? Oh, it slides. Oh, it slides. He's too big. Do you like this? Hey, he laid on it. Alrighty. Do you like this? Alrighty. Maybe he likes it. He's like, man, this feels good. Yeah, definitely need a bigger one. I don't think we have any more packages for the dogs. Hopefully not. Maybe I bought myself something instead. What is this? Oh! Okay, so since I do work from home, I like to sometimes when I'm doing like just bookkeeping, I like to have my iPad on the side and watch some YouTube videos. I was using like a little phone stand that my dad had for his phone for my 12.5 or 12.9 inch iPad. And... If out a couple of times to avoid further destruction, I decided to finally buy one of these little iPad stands. I mean, why didn't I buy it a lot sooner? I don't know. But Prime Day was here and I was like, you know what? My iPad fell that day and I was like, let me order one. So I ordered one. So here's the iPad and this is the little stand. Pretty damn sturdy. Wow, I didn't think like, okay, that's the extent, but who really watches their iPad like that? Ooh, it's not very stable like that. But honestly, I don't really watch my iPad vertical. I watch it horizontal. Then I got, I had seen Haley Pham had one of these and I thought they were really, really cute because calendars are kind of ugly. And this one is see-through. Like, look how cool that is. And then it comes with pens and markers and a tiny little eraser and then a little pocket for your eraser. So really, really cute. I really like it. I prefer the cleaner look than the busy look. That was perfect for me. Then that day we went to the beach, which would probably have avoided the cut that I have on the side of my head if I had contacts. I got my contacts literally delivered that day. And it was sitting in my mailbox as I was getting hit on the side of my head with my glasses. But I decided to try out 1-800 contacts for the first time ever. Um, yeah, I had some issues. I don't know if it's issues with them, but I just felt like there could have been better communication. Oh, never mind. I went to go order my contacts and they were like, oh, I noticed in your prescription, blah, 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 you need these ones. It was a much cheaper brand. The AccuView is a lot more expensive. I think it was like $55 for each eye because I have a stigma in one eye and then my other eye was different. So I had to have to buy two different 
boxes basically the guy on the text board was like oh i have to contact your doctor blah 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 and i was like well fine i was like well i need these like soon and he's like yeah no worries blah 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 i'll get back to you in 24 hours didn't hear anything in 24 hours like the last minute i finally heard something and he didn't say like oh your contacts were approved it was just like oh your order's been shipped and then I went on the website and I still didn't even know like if they approved the other brand that my doctor originally wanted me to go with or my act. So I had to kind of wait. I mean, I guess I could have contacted them. I just felt like they should have been more communicative with me. And then I paid for like expedient shipping. And you know what they said? Oh, that shipping is when your order is ready. And I was like, okay, well, when is my order going to be ready? Well, it could be anywhere from two weeks. So you're telling me I paid for expedient shipping when I don't even know if I'm going to even need those expedient at that time. Little things like that. But I have my contacts going to Universal this weekend. So I definitely didn't want to wear glasses and then lose my glasses on the ride. I got my contacts. Wish I would have had them at the beach because then I get to wear some sunglasses. That was the end of my haul i am gonna end this video because i have no idea how much of this video is to this video i did post a new video finally two months later i posted welcoming to my puppy to the internet so go watch the video if you haven't watched it i really liked it can't believe it took me that long to edit it but it's finally up <laughs> and a lot of videos are coming your way very soon i don't know what order this video is coming from the other ones but lots of videos are coming so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys with another video next time yeah bye